So we are glad you're here. And if you're on Facebook, join us uh, to join us because I can't see Facebook right now. We are just streaming there. Uh, but if you want to join us at the uh, webinar, you can follow the link at the top of the Facebook post where this live stream is and join us in the webinar, okay? So um, for the people that are here, let me know if you can see the message of the chat because I sent you everyone. And um, I'm going to show you today some things from the new um, menu that we have. We just released yesterday a new menu from the fourth, uh, fourth Friday of the month. We had a huge uh, collection of all elements and things that go together with the same color palette. So um, usually I do a Facebook Live Fridays to show that, but because we were going to have this, then I'm going to show you real quick here what we have. And I'm going to work with some of the things today, um, but uh, cannot work with everything in one hour. I'm going to try to do this in one hour. I have three projects to show you in one hour. So, um, so we have here this huge mini O. And we have some great things. We have a huge kit from NBK. We're going to work with some things from Maya de Groot here. We have a very cute uh, from Design by Soko, and I'm going to work with some of her templates today. Um, also from Mediterranca. And we have from Courtney Designs and AFT Designs that you can see here in Soma Designs. So I'm going to work with a little bit of everything, but not everything, of course. And we have on the Urban Ferry that is um, uh, joining us as a guest. Okay. And again, if you wanted to chat with everyone, you have to send a message to everyone instead of panelists. So I'm going to show some things on Photoshop Elements, um, but uh, because I want to work with many things at the same time, especially brushes, uh, and styles I'm going to teach on uh, majority of Photoshop today. So I first want to show you here the things that I'm using here. Um, this from Soma. And this is from Maya de Groot. And some fragments from Courtney. I'm going to show you how uh, to modify a little bit this uh, word art, which uh, comes in uh, PSD uh, format. And this nice, nice paper from AFT Designs. Um, Mediterranca. And we have this nice papers here from Maya de Groot. And we have um, the say hello here. I'm go not going to use everything, but some things from the NBK design. And I'm using the first project here is going to be with this template here from this template, couple of templates here from Design by Soko. And this is her kit as well. And I think I showed you everything. Oh, and I have this transfers from the Urban Ferry and the papers from her, from the seaside, which are really, really beautiful papers. Okay, so this is the first um, project here. And uh, as you can see how I started this, I grabbed some pattern paper and clipped the pattern paper here from the Design by Soak and from NBK Design Kits. So I want to show you how I'm going to change this to my style and um, you can later do the same thing or not, but I just want to show how you can uh, change things a little bit here and some ideas. So at first I removed some of the elements just to start with this clean um, starting point here. And in order for me to show you everything, I do have to, I did prepare some things on the template. So we, you know, we get going. So one thing that I wanna hear, I wanted this um, picture here to, uh, to extend a little bit. So I wanna show you here how I did this. 
So as you can see here, I extended the picture a little bit. So what I did in this case, let me just hide this one, the top one. And as you can see here, I just created a mask. Or I made a copy of the picture and I created a mask and with the NBK design brush tool from the Say Hello, from the Minio, I just uh, brushed the picture back just to the outside here. So I would have this grunge edges here that would go beyond the frame. So it would not be so clean because I'm not that a clean, clean scrapper, but if you were, you know, if you were clean, just, you know, just leave as it was like this, it's fine. So um, I want to show beyond that the idea that I have and show you how you can do that. So if you have kids, or even if you don't have, but you have things that you draw, or um, things that you, um, I don't know, doodles that you do, or things like that. So in my case, because this is this layout here is about my son ending this. Um, new school year here. He just um, finished school and it was a big year for us because we changed um, states. So he started school year in one state and he end, ended the year in another state. And these were the great teachers that did such a good transition for him. And unfortunately, they're not going to be at school next year. So it was, um, they pretty much just helped him and um, you know, they decided to go other ways and for personal reasons, they're going to leave the school. So I wanted to um, give this documentation that this picture, actually, I asked them to take the picture. I didn't take this picture and they sent it to me. So um, I received many school art during the, during the year. And this is what I did. I scanned this, the art and um, I wanted to put this art in my project because it has his, um, you know, his painting and his mark. So in Photoshop, there is an easy way to do that. As you can see here, the background is mostly one color, which is just grayish blue color. So in Photoshop, it's very easy to create a clear, I just wanted the circles, his name and this, paint here. So in Photoshop, the quickest way to do that would be to uh, select color range here. And you're just going to tap on the color that you want to remove. And I would go here to the plus and keep adding on the same um, color the different tones, because sometimes in the paper, you can have different tones because the way you scanned as you can see here, there's a little bit of tone here. And as you can see, more I click, more I, it doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna, you know, do things on the background and put things on top. It doesn't have to be perfect. I don't care really about this. So in Photoshop, you're just gonna click okay. And you're gonna see all these marching ends here. And we are going to select inverse. And after you do that, you, you give a command control J and then you have your transparent um, background. So in Photoshop is really fast to do that. Um, the way I have here in Photoshop elements, the way I figured it out to do that, the, you know, the quickest way in Photoshop elements, it was to use the uh, magic wand tool here and you want to go here to add because you want to keep adding this color. So in Photoshop Elements, you have a little bit more work because you have to keep clicking even inside the circles where you have this color. And if you have a faster way to do that, that is fine. But I don't use Photoshop Elements to extract anything. so. Um, so you just keep selecting and adding to the selection. And as you can see here, 
I did one and it's pretty good. And as I said, because you're going to blend this in the background, it really doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be perfect. Later, if you see some more of that color, you can remove just going with the magic one and removing it. So this is what I wanted to show in a Photoshop elements. If you guys um, have questions, let me know. And so I had this background here. And I added here all the way down here. And what I want just is to remove this, uh, you know, kind of straight lines here. I don't mind this. I actually like that goes. I just wanted to remove this little straight edge here. So for that, I created a, a mask here. And you just, you know, when you have the picture, you just go here to layer mask and we can have the mask in white and I'm going to brush uh, just with a round brush in black. And I'm actually going to remove here because I'm going to put the journal in there. There. So this way I can have my journal in here. I can just snudge my journal in just a tiny bit. And I'll do my journaling after this when I finish the layout. So this is an idea. You can, if you want, use blend modes with this. So if I use color burn or overlay, um, in my case, I really don't want to because I think it's gonna remove the authenticity of the colors that he used. Um, so I really don't want that. What I'm going to do is put all the way to the background. There it is. Okay. So this was another idea that I have. So a nice way to finish that I like a lot to do on my layouts, it's to create a secondary picture that um, show, you know, what I'm talking about or giving a more, I went on a second picture, that's the truth, but I didn't want a simple picture. I wanted a more artistic picture. So I use an app called Inlight and I'm not sure if it has for Android, but it's an iPhone app called Inlight. And when you go to Inlight, and maybe I would do one day a live just showing about the apps um, so you guys can see that. But when you go to Enlight, then you can click on, I'm going right now to see, you can click on artistic and there is something called urban. And when you go to urban, you have all kinds of effects and this is one of them. But it looks like the threshold in Photoshop, but the pixels don't behave the same. So like you cannot clip things to the back, to the black. It, it, it kind of creates a different kind of picture. So anyway, let me check my notes and take some water. So a good way that I found to create a nice effect. I'm here in my picture and I wanted to give it some color. So I went to the gradient tool and I chose this gradient here because it has some this of yellow. Remember we had a yellow on the background And the blend mode that worked for me was exclusion. And you can see that, the nice effect that it gives. 
So again, I just create here adjustment layer gradient and chose my gradient and I went to the blend mode exclusion. So now that I have this, you can do two things. You can merge the layers or you can create a group. So I'm going to create a group here. So what I want now, as you can see, of course, it took over everything. So I'm just going to create a mask. I'm gonna mask that to hide this picture. So I'm gonna hide this picture. So you, I click Option Alt and I click on the layer mask. Or you can go to Layer, Layer Mask, Hide All. It's not gonna show because I already did it. So, but to me it's faster just to put my finger Option Alt and click on the layer mask and it hides all. So now I go here to the Say Hello Brush Tool from NBK Design. And she has this perfectly blender brush here. It's way big. I'm going to reduce the flow a little bit. I'm going to put my brush to white. And I'm going to reduce even more the flow. And I'm going to bring him back. So especially when I get to the edges here, I reduce a lot the flow. I'm going to click X to go back to black and remove some of this. So when now can make him bigger. Because I wanna remove all that distraction from the picture. So if you have an iPhone, if you have a phone, another phone that I know it has for Android, Pix Art. Pix Art, um, it has a lot of good stuff you can do with it. So if you have Android, play with it. And I have to say that nowadays, most of my effects on my picture comes from apps because it saves time into, instead of trying to do things on Photoshop. And sometimes they have unique things that in Photoshop, it would take so many steps to do it. The apps are getting better and better. Oh my goodness, I have already 22 minutes. So this is the idea that I have for the first one. I think we are done with this because I took a long time with this one. Do you guys have any questions? Otherwise, I'm going to close this one and open the second one. So, my second one here is with the designs from the Urban Ferry. And I wanted to show you here how I started this. This is the picture that I have here. No, this is the second picture, sorry. This is the first picture and I'm gonna disable this layer mask and put to normal. So this is the picture that I got it started. Um, they are on a lake and um, this is my starting point here. Then I had this paper from the Urban Ferry, the Seaside Collection. And I had this other paper here. 
from the urban ferry. So I'm gonna just open the paper here real quick to show you how I merged these two papers together and then you're gonna understand what I did. I wanted this um, paper here, this sand, because this paper, it doesn't have a sand. It starts already with the C. And I wanted to merge with this paper, but I just wanted this part. So to do that, what I did I just created a layer mask. And you can just go here to the gradient tool and you have gradient tool also in Photoshop Elements. Make sure here is black to white, uh, black to transparent, sorry, black to transparent. And it should be here on the first, which is linear. And because I wanna hide the bottom here, Right, so let me show you. I want to hide this part there. Okay, going up there. Um, I'm going to go to my gradient tool. I click on the mask. Oops, sorry, I'm still here on the drawing thing. Okay. So, then we create a gradient. I put too much, so let me do smaller. There you go. So as you can see here, it hided my C. Okay, so this is what I did. You create a mask, you go to the gradient, black to transparent, and you just create a gradient inside the mask. So this is what I did here. As you can see, I create a very faint uh, gradient. But what I did, I created the opposite. I create from up to down. So all this part will be black and it would fade here, okay? So you can do, you know, whatever. So then I did the same thing here with this other picture because I wanted just the sand here. So now you see that it's blended the first picture with the second picture. And I have now just the C. So what I did then, I had my picture which I created a mask as well. And with the NBK design brush tool, I hide spots of my picture, but I put my picture on color burn. So, um, what happened? My mask went away. Let's do it again. Oh, okay. I put apply instead of enable. So, um, okay, color burn. So this is what I did. So then I blended here. So this way you can start creating this blending uh, picture. Then she has this transfers, which let me show you. This is the way the transfer comes. And because I had the sand here, they blended really nicely here with the background. So now I have this picture. So now I can do kind of the same thing with this picture here. I will blend this picture. With the background.
I'm going to invert my mask so it's going to hide. I just give a command control I inside the mask and it's going to hide. Reduce the flow, reduce the opacity. And this picture is a little washed out. So we can go to adjustment levels and photo filter and maybe try a, let's clip to that picture, a cooling filter. And I can reduce the intensity here. So you just go here, adjustment la uh, layer, photo filter, and I chose cooling filter, filter 82. Gonna go to curves and gonna gonna clip to that picture. So they're all in a group now, and what I'm going to do gonna make it bigger. And then what you can try to do is, um, you know, with blending you have to be, patient and I just wanted to bring just a little bit more of that. So something like that. And then later I will add some more things and transfers and things. And um, and I'm going to bring this together with the layout. So, But this is a starting point that you can do, blending the papers and blending the pictures in to be part of the papers. Um, so that can start to make sense for you. So my next one. And let me hide some things here so you don't get confused. And I'm gonna grab some things here to show you what I did. And I want to show you to this F AFT, um, celebrate, um, let me show you here. So we have here this AFT word arts uh, template. So what they do is that she has this PSD of many kinds of words. But what is nice is that also she has in the folder a PNG of them, so just in black, and, but she has also in gold. But because she has a PSD, and let me open one that I used here on the layout, which is happy. So, 
as you can see, um, let me put back to Photoshop. You can't see anything. So as you can see here, she has a few layer here with the black, but then she has also a gold version and she has a base, which gives you this outline, <clears throat> black outline. But what I did here, <clears throat> let me grab some water. What I did here in my, <clears throat> excuse me, I used a style from NBK Design. So you can clip papers, but I thought it would be fun to use some styles from the Say Hello from the Minio. So um, I use this one here. So you can clip papers to these templates, you can use styles and you can do all sorts of things. So I, it's really good that she included that. So you have the ability to change to what you want. You can see here with the styles, how nice they look. This is the uh, say hello styles. And BK also has a gold, but it's a different gold than she has. So you have, you can have two kinds of gold so really, really fun. So that was really nice of her to include that. So this is what I did here. I have these frames from the NBK Say Hello collection. And I changed them to black and white in the Google um, filter that is free. which is the Nick collection, I use the Silver FX Pro, okay? Then I change them, um, clip that. So I wanna show you how I did here because what I did here in the background, I include one of the papers from AFT Designs and I mix with the papers from my other group. But what I did really, I just separated the paint from her paper using <clears throat> the same technique that I used with my son's drawing. I just wanted her paint here because I wanted to use the other paper. I didn't want this. So, and this one is even easier to do on Photoshop Elements the same way I showed you before. So I just uh, went to select color range and I just clicked on this um, color here. So select inverse and as you can see here, then I have just the paint. So this is what I did here. I had just the paint. This is the whole paper. This is just the paint. And on the background here, I have the AFT uh, design. So um, then what I did, see here. So I have this um, texture here from NBK Design and let me show you here. Uh, let me open real quick so you can get an idea because I still have something else I want to show you. So this is the um, texture overlay from the Say Hello. And as you can see here on top, I used one of the AFT designs on top of the texture and I use the blend mode overlay. Let me show you here. Okay, I have the texture there and the red paper and I put the blend mode overlay so you can see now the texture is red. Okay. And what I did, I put them in a group but I created a flatted copy of the texture. And let me disable the mask so you can see here. 
So you see, there's a texture here. I just created a copy of the, you know, the two layers. I'm, you know, and I give it the stamp layer, which is Command Option Shift E. Then you make a stamp layer. So what I did with her brushes, I just hide some of this texture, of course, because otherwise it would take over. So as you can see, I let it over here. As you can see here. What I did also, I brushed with her brush tool with the lace brush. She has a lot of lace brushes. So I brushed the texture in the layer mask with the lace brush. So you can see here, there is this lace uh, texture here. So, um, Talking about, again, about apps, that same app that I talked about, which is called Enlight, creates this kind of uh, paint here, because this was a car show that we went. So it created this kind of paint here, and I guess you just go to artistic and painting and then it has many kinds of paints that you can choose and I chose this one and to blend I did the same thing I've been doing so far to blend with the same brushes and I blended here on the background this is going to be recorded I know it's a lot but you can watch it again later and I'm going to put everything that I used on the blog post so then what I did, I just um, put some elements from the Maya de Groot kit. And this is what I have. So this is the, I just have to put some journaling and the layout's gonna be done. So to finish, I just wanted to show you, there's a beautiful kit here. I'm gonna start a new document. Um, a blog post that was very popular here was with the clusters. And Medita Ranka had this beautiful, beautiful kit, mini kit for the Minio. And I thought it would be nice to do some clusters with her stuff. And from Courtney uh, fragments, just to give you some ideas and then you can play when you get your supplies. So she has this beautiful paper here. I'm just, this is just a demonstration here. So we are going to start creating a layer mask. I'm gonna use the brush mix from NBK design. I'm just gonna, uh, to flow 100% here. I'm just gonna create kind of a mask here. So we can get it started. These brushes, they come in PNG, so I could definitely, you can definitely clip this. It's just for the, you know, time's sake. I'm just gonna do this because I'm almost run out of time. So you can start with this paper. And she has this stamp here, um, postage stamp. Just gonna try some blend modes. 
I'm creating a clipping mask so then it clips just to this mask that I created. I use the color burn. Gonna reduce to 60%, 63. So right there we have a nice base for us. So Courtney, she has some nice fragments here, very colorful, so we can do kind of two versions of it. Um, let me start with this one. I like that um, this one has this kind of gold. Don't be afraid to mix and match because they all go together because of the color palette. And I didn't try this before. I'm just trying right now to see what works. I just knew I wanted to do a cluster, but I didn't try any of this before. So Medita Ranka, let me show you here because this is so beautiful. This is her mini kit. I hope, can you guys see? So she has a nice birds, butterflies, and some nice paper. So you can do a lot of this mini kit together with the other supplies from the mini -o. So I guess I will bring this flower here because Courtney Fragments has this, you know, the same dark here. Let me just hide, let me try this like this. I'm just gonna reduce the fill a little bit. So what I did here, you go to the effects and go blend if this is just Photoshop. And because I know there's some dark, I'm just gonna blend more. As you can see, it's blending more there. So we reduce the intensity a little bit, okay? So I now have this flower. Put some shadow and, oh guys, sorry. Let me repeat again. So I had the fragment here and what I did, I went to effects, blending options here. And you just move here the sliders and then it's gonna blend better here with the background, okay? So, so far, what I did was put a color burn on the stamp, posted stamp. Then I use the fragments and I use the blend if to just reduce a little bit here. And I use the flower here and I put a shadow. That's what I did so far. And then pretty much uh, you can put the things that you like. I love butterflies. So I guess this butterfly will be better underneath the flower there. And <clears throat> put a shadow. And then what you can do is put a wood art.
Okay, so then you can change this. So, um, let's grab, she has on the kit. This nice one, so let me hide. Let me grab another fragment from Courtney. I would put this in the background. Try maybe a blend mode. This was too faint. Multiply on, again, you can use normal and then you can reduce the fill or you can reduce the opacity. And then you can put other elements again. Let me get a word strip. This butterfly then I would flip and put it on top there. And we can put this over here. Okay. So you can mix and match um, what would be good here also NBK has some paints. You could put some extra paints and uh, paints. And um, her paints, uh, paints actually would go really well with the Courtney um, fragments. Um, so you can start creating little clusters. When you are done, you can just create a group and drag that to your layout. You can also start the background with the different papers from the collection. Um, the possibilities are endless here that you can use your supplies over and over again. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me take a look. So if you're watching this on Facebook and if you're new, if you go to O Scraps Facebook, on the left side, we have in the menu videos, and you can see all the previous videos that I did before for the old scraps with some tips on other products. Um, let me just show here the website again. And if you want to chat, you just have to tap to everyone. And if you go also to the blog here, And you have here tutorials that we have. And we have also, if you missed the last scrap and chat, you can see the recording here. I usually added just the beginning when I have the screen starting soon, but pretty much I leave everything the same. So, um, and I'm gonna, you know, in the, in the blog, I'm gonna put everything that I used and everything in the app name as well that I use. So if you go here to tutorials at the blog, you can see all the tutorials that we have. We have a lot so far. We also have hybrid tutorials with Christy Strickler. So if you wanna do some things uh, hybrid, I do some things hybrid. Um, take a look at that. She does such a good job doing some hybrid stuff. And she has videos as well for you. So just take a look and see all the possibilities and things you can do with the supply. So I hope you guys enjoy. The goal here for all scraps is to help you guys to use all your supplies and to provide good education community for you guys. 
So I hope you enjoy wherever you are the great, you know, the great weekends. I'm very happy that we have a very sunny day today. So I really enjoyed the ones that were here participating. I totally appreciate you coming here to the room. And if you're watching this later, thank you so much. And I hope you learned something. And if you have questions, let me know in the comments on Facebook or at the blog. I'll be happy to uh, answer your questions if I missed something. I know it's a little fast, but I try to be one hour. So our recording is not going to take forever to render. So, um, but you can watch this over and over again. And I hope you uh, follow us for the next ones on our Facebook page. I try to schedule that. And anyway, so I hope you guys enjoy and I hope you have a great, great weekend. Thank you so much.